Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Amplify your marketing strategy by integrating WhatsApp with Facebook ads in 2023. This comprehensive tutorial will walk you through the seamless connection process, enabling you to reach your audience on a platform they know and love. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, basically in this video, as you might know, Facebook and actually WhatsApp doesn't have integration between them. Even though if you search for it, Meta apps, you will find that there is more than 15 apps. One of them is Facebook and the other is WhatsApp as you can see right in front of you. The same goes for Facebook ads. Well, how can we actually connect two apps? They are under the same company, but at the same time, they don't, they don't have like a LinkedIn or a link or integration between them together. Well, this is where Zapier is going to appear to us. Basically, Zapier is a third party app that will allow us to connect these two apps. Basically, all you need to do is to head up to Zapier.com, as you can see right in front of you. And in this page, in this beautiful website, this is where magic will happen. Basically, there is two views, so in case you would like to use uh, the AI view or the normal view, but it doesn't matter at the moment. The first thing that we are interested in is to click on apps, which is on the sidebar menu on the left. Then, you will be guaranteed or meeting with the list of apps that you own at the moment in your account if you don't have any apps already it will this page will be empty so to search for any app the simple thing to do is to search for it for example whatsapp click on it and there you have it whatsapp notification so the next thing to do is to click on connect and simply here you need to connect your whatsapp to it basically all you need to do is to put your number in here it should be in the E164 format, which is, as an example, plus and followed by your country code and then followed by your phone number without any spaces or dashes or any points. Then you will receive an OTP code. Click on this button. You will save it in WhatsApp itself. Copy it and paste it and then click here. Let's continue to WhatsApp qualification they will ask you to give them some access to some permissions guarantee these permissions to them and then it will be connected the same goes for facebook so if i search for facebook here it is facebook lead ads simply the same thing click on connect and here basically let me just close that here it is simply just click on here continue as your account is opened guarantee some permissions it should be connected now the same thing you have to do in both apps which is testing the connection make sure that connection is tested successfully so you can move on to the next step without any problems now if I went here to dashboard and basically will be facing two things I will start by clicking on the classic view here we go so this is the classic view here we're going to integrate two apps that we have integrated them with Zap together. For example, here we need WhatsApp. So here it is. With Facebook. Here it is. So now, as you can see, these two are disabled. So basically there is no Zap to be created. When this happens, then do this. Well, it is disabled at the moment. So what can we do? Maybe we can reverse them. We can write here WhatsApp, and here it is, and now it is working. So now what you could do is send a message in WhatsApp notifications when you lead in Facebook lead ads. So this is just one zap or integration that you can make. What are other ones? Well, as you saw in the beginning, they are so limited or disabled. That's where the AI view will help us so if i clicked here on this way to the ai view and i wrote literally anything so by clicking on create zap and i went here 
So this is a text box where you have to write a prompt. This is basically a text where you describe what you want them to basically do for you. As an example, when I send a message on Inst on WhatsApp, make an ad on Facebook lead ads and generate and let's see if it's going to actually make it. So now the AI is actually going to create everything from scratch. So here it is. So create Facebook ad leads, uh, create Facebook lead ads from WhatsApp messages. So here they didn't detect a WhatsApp. Let me just add here notification and then try again. And let's check if it's going to work this time. And yeah, it's still trying, it's still hard to find. Um, you could simply just change it to WhatsApp through here if you do want. So you can search for WhatsApp, so WhatsApp message received, a new WhatsApp message as an example, and then try it. So new WhatsApp message into chat. So these two are now connected. Simply the next thing to do is to choose the account that you want them to work on. So the same thing goes here for WhatsApp. You have to connect the correct account that should be managed and connected with Facebook. And just like that, you have finally to test some triggers and then turn this on and fix the publish and everything will be good to go. And yeah, this is as very easily as that and smoothly as that. Another information guys that you have to put in mind is that your account once you create it for the first time, you will have limited amount of tabs and tasks that you can make. So make sure to go to the first page or the, uh, the home page and check your plan and below it you'll find how many tasks you have and how many zaps you have left so you have an opinion and a view on how many zaps you can create at once and how many tasks you can get uh, in a month with your plan and yeah this is the most important thing to put in mind in case you would like to have more than these tasks and more zaps you can obviously upgrade your plan uh, you can here let me just show you the plans Real quick the page is loading slowly uh, here it is upgrade plan in the bottom left of the page and here you will find this box so let me wait here are the plans and the pricing so this is the starter plan the professional the team and the company and here you can basically decide how many tasks you want uh, the same goes for this one the same goes for each one of these so as you can see you can even choose to have a limited amount of task if you really would like to you have to go for the company one but look if I change that to too many tasks it will be around 4k per month imagine if you change it to a limited I don't know it might be going to the 10k amount so yeah put that in mind guys and with that being said thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial